you know, and I had met Nipsey at the uh, a Palms Hotel. And when I met him, I was like, dang, man, I said, you ain't been doing everything like you need to be doing I, 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 on the music. And he was like, yeah, you're going to see. Yeah, he was telling me about the new stuff he had coming, whether it were Blue Laces or whatever. We, this was years before he passed away. He had had This was after he had first came out, and he was like real, you know, we knew him in Texas because he reminded me of Snoop. I ain't going to lie, during that time. I'm coming straight off a slump, a crazy motherfucker named Nipsey. I'm turned up because I grew up in the 60s. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Go ahead. Uh, but, uh, wasn't Nipsey Hussle building a school? Uh, I can't say if he was building a school. I, and I think he was doing something over there. I wouldn't doubt it, though. I think I did see somewhere they had a basketball court colorfully painted uh, somewhere right up in his community. So I can't uh, specifically say yes, but I think I wouldn't put it past him. So he did I, a lot for I, I heard of it, but I was like, if, if he died, instead of instead of going to his store, supporting his store, why not help everybody build that school that he wanted to build? Build that school up for to help the other black kids to actually that didn't need I mean need a help to where they can go to because I think that's what he was building a school for like a performance school for black people. Yes, sir. And I think it was a trade school, mm -hmm. something like that. Yes, sir. So like it was going to help help the other black people come in. So like if he was going to build that school, why not get together? Everybody get together that has money that's willing to help him and build that school. Yes, keep sir. keep it going. Just yes, his sir. legacy. Sound good to me. I'm like, I would rather for that to happen than everybody supporting and talking about going to his store. Like everybody went to his stores and stuff. They but, put but money, it got they closed down right yeah, after that, though. His store gone now, but that school could have still been up right now. Hip but the store could have been there if it was it was an organized deal where he, if they actually, and I don't know the ins and outs of it, but if that shopping center was owned by them, um, then they could have kept things going. But it became a somewhat, I heard drive-bys and all kind of stuff. We from outside looking in. Yeah. But you hear these things. Like, I, I heard I heard it. you I, can't go sure. over there. If you go over there, you might get shot up but just for going over there looking, all kind of stuff. I've heard some crazy stuff about that store that me and my wife frequented before all this happened. We was going there when he was living. I never went there when he had died. I only went there when he was living. I went, me and Black Sam, it's pictures. Me and him, uh, we, we have a family. You see what we do, kind of the same thing. So I was drawn to him because my brother had mentioned it. And it was like, yeah, Stevie mentioned it to me. He said, man, go by there and see Nipsey and him and go see, you know, and I had met Nipsey at the uh, uh, Palms Hotel. And when I met him, I was like, dang, man, I said, you ain't been doing everything like you need to be doing I, 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 on the music. And he was like, yeah, you're going to see. Yeah, he was telling me about the new stuff he had coming, whether it were Blue Laces or whatever. We, this was years before he passed away. He had had This was after he had first came out, and he was like real, you know, we knew him in Texas because he reminded me of Snoop. I ain't going to lie during that time. I'm coming straight off a slump, a crazy motherfucker named Nipsey. Turned up because I grew up in the 60s. And I was like, dang, man, you know, what you been doing lately? It was like in 2011, maybe, mm -hmm. 2012. And he was like, you going to see, you going to see. And after that, I think he sold the albums to Jay-Z for a hundred dollars or something it may have been after that but i just know me and him had a hell of a conversation right there at the check-in we was at check-in together mm -hmm. and it was just me and him just because i go to you know nice spots and he ended up being there but then after that a few years later me and my wife and kids would go by his store because we own this store and we've been had a long time so it was like mutual doing the same thing kind of you know mm -hmm. just supplying the community mm -hmm. um so how did how does it they end up losing the spot after he passed away. Nobody kept up with it. Nobody does anything after that. Uh, I can't speak on uh, what happened to that property. In fact, all of it's closed it's down. It's closed down the whole thing, the right? The whole thing is closed down with a tarp around it where you can't see You can't see in there. Nothing like that. Wow. But the last time I uh, uh, seen Nipsey and had a conversation with him was possibly maybe a week before that or not too long Joey Badass was on tour and had a concert at uh, Greek uh, for uh, all of us, uh, all time done or something like that. Uh, had all the elected officials, uh, Joey Badass, Guapoli, uh, uh quite a few artists, and uh, Nipsey Hussle also was on stage there, and we all was back there in the back. And uh, we was talking back there then, uh, couple of weeks or uh, right after that is when the incident happened wow yeah man i know that i'm sorry i hate that happened man definitely loved it the the movement loved everything because it was a lot of positivity with a lot of the things that he done 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.